Hi folks, this is Dr. Subram Shank here. I welcome you for this video presentation on isolation of peptides and cell counting. The liver is an organ with multiple functions. Primarily here, the objective of this experiment is to isolate and count the peptides from both liver. We are going to use a perfusion based approach for isolation of viable peptides from the both liver and visualize them using the triphase straining approach. further we are also going to perform the cell counting in this video presentation the application of peptides as a common model system is utilized for toxicity testing of the compounds or for also performing or identifying drugs or for testing the drugs basically uh, in the pharmaceutical industry the requirements for this experiment includes the tissue obtained from goat liver the sterile falcon tubes we also need sterile pbs to wash the goat liver dmm media with 10% fcs and as well as penicillin streptomyces further requirements of this experiment also are mentioned here they include petri plates cell culture flasks sterile scissors to cut the tissue hemocytometer for performing the cell counting cover slips the forceps to pick up and as well as wash the tissue in pbs and as well as 10 ml syringe needle and the trypan blue stain for staining the cells so we'll sterilize the whole area this is the leg and the lower component The first thing is I'm going to use only the leg component because lesser amount of volume first for washing it, and I can actually discard it. We have the requirement of PPS, which is provided, and the goat liver. Okay, this is directly from the slaughterhouse. So I need to take some amount of this tissue. take it and some part of the tissue only i'm just going to cut it okay the remaining tissue i'm just going to drop in back You can observe there is some amount of blood since which is actually taken directly from the slaughterhouse. So I would like to actually wash it in PBS first. Just going to take this off. Keep it in this bag because I won't require it again. I'm just transferring it back. This part of the component, I'm just going to discard. It. So keep this aside. So now to this component, add some amount of PBS. Take a syringe, a sterile syringe, which is a disposable one.
I'm just going to keep it. Let's keep this tinted. Drop the needle back onto the syringe. Remove the cap. You need to flush out the cells. This is called as perfusing. The name of the technique is called as perfusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to puncture into the tissue and then I'm just going to forcefully Can you see the brownish tinge? This is actually coming up. Okay, now remove off the needle component alone, hold it in your hand. Okay, keep your container tilted once again. Take the fluid of PBS and repeat this process a couple of times. Until the PBS color turns pink or reddish in color, you need to try doing this again and again. So that, that gives you an indication that more number of hepatocytes are basically being perfused out of the tissue. Okay. And within this, I'm just going to collect the content.
So as you can see now, I have taken the PBS containing the cell suspension. So in two falcon tubes. Now we will take this further for centrifugation process, where you have to centrifuge these at 1500 RPM. Twice you have to do it. After you do, after completing the first time of centrifugation, uh, you have to allow the, the pelleted cells only should be retained, and the cell suspension should be discarded. Okay, and uh, you have to redo that. You have to add some more PBS once again, resuspend the cells. And then do the second time of centrifugation one second at 1500 rpm. Both the times you have to do it for 10 minutes. Okay. And then decan the suspension, retain only the pellet. And after the two times of centrifugation, you need to actually add right. one ml of your DMEM solution or MEM solution. Okay. In suspension, we uh, right now we have to do the centrifugation process at 1500 rpm for two times. So I'm just going to place both of them which is of equal volume of 15 ml in exact opposite direction within the centrifuge and as you can observe I am using a 15 ml rotor and I am just going to cap it we have set the rpm now for 1500 rpm and the timer is also set for 10 minutes After centrifugation, you can observe the cell pellet, copious amount of cell which are basically present at the bottom. Now I am going to actually discard the supernatant. Without disturbing the pellet. And I'm going to resuspend once again the pellet in PBS. You can observe now that I have just kept close to around 5 ml in both the falcon tubes. Once again I am going to centrifuge this at 1500 rpm for 10 minutes. And after that the pelleted cells to the pelleted cells I am going to dissolve it in uh, one, 1 ml of DMEM. DMEM media which contains the F. After the second centrifugation we can observe that the pelleting of the cells and now I am going to remove off the supernatant.
this is the freshly prepared DMM media and this the cells cell suspension that has been pelleted out the remaining cells are now will be resuspended again in the media fresh media 1 ml of fresh media will be taken Thank you for patiently listening as hemocytometer based cell counting requires elaborate detailing this shall be presented as next separate video